hi let's see what are the data anomalies in this session so when you talk about the data anomalies that refers to the irregularities inconsistencies due to poor database design remember that poor database design data duplication and inadequate data management practices data anomalies so these leads to three anomalies over here insert update and delete insert update and delete so let us try to understand well i have created one table over here so this is a whole big one table now let's try to understand the data anomalies what will happen what will happen if you try to insert a new customer right see i want to in this table is consisting of the customer id name mobile dob address of the customer also details of the order price and the order date when when customer is going to place the order that date will come over here but what i want to do in the beginning i don't want to place any order but i just want to register myself on the platform so what do you do about these things are you going to make these things null are you going to keep these things null because presently i don't have any any detail related to the order in the future i am going to place the order and right now i would be just registering myself on the platform bad practice so what insert anomaly says insert anomaly says insertion anomaly occur when it is not possible to add the data without adding unrelated data here i don't have any concern with the order but still i need to either i need to enter the null 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 like this or i need to or i need to keep them empty or i need to enter some raw data right something like this insertion anomaly remember that this is called as what insertion anomaly now update anomaly let's take the example of the update anomaly so this is this second is the customer okay so this is the first customer we have this is another customer we have now what i need to do i need to update so let's have let's have one more one more customer same customer now see same customer is placing the order right everything is same but order id is 2 this time 78 and here you can say let's have some date something like this on the on the first customer have ordered and on the third customer i have ordered now what i want to do i want to change the address let's make some different address ggg deliberately i am not choosing any proper names or the nouns over here just to avoid some problems now can you see the customer id 2 is here now what i want to do i want to update the address of this customer presently we just have three records but in the future when you deploy this db in the real time in the production at that time there would be millions of the record now i want to update the address of this customer too and this customer might have ordered thousand times in a day sorry thousand times in a year which means that i need to update the thousand records which means that i need to update the thousand records over here which will create the problem and same is the update anomaly update anomalies occurs when the data in the database result in inconsistent or the contradictory information i want to update only at i want to just make this address change but what is happening over here thousand records are getting updated over here update anomaly that can be removed by means of the process of normalization now delete anomaly what is delete anomaly we will see so 
let's go to the our database presently i'm using excel sheet as a database presently i'm using what excel sheet as a database but in the future we would be using actual mysql db okay just to tell you these things explain you these things i would be using excel where you can understand the database in very well manner okay now here i want to delete the order i want to delete the order now see the customer 2 have ordered two times have ordered what two times now what i want to do i want to delete this order from here now if you try to delete this order what will happen it might possible that it will delete this row also or let's consider let's consider another customer say 3 okay and the customer name is xyz mobile would be different over here actually and here i can say 5 but let, let's keep other things same address we can say y y y order id we can say 3 or 4 order price would be 89 and order date would be same third th th third now what i want to do i want to delete this order but i want to retain the information of employee sorry customer i want to delete this order but i want to retain the information of the customer i just want to delete order related data which means that 489 and this thing but as your table is having a order details as well as the customer details this is not possible either you need to make these things null only null 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 or if you try to delete this record if you try to delete this record whole record would be getting deleted but my intention is that i need to retain the customer information and just delete the order details that is not possible if you have unorganized table unorganized database structure how do you avoid this by implementing proper normalization techniques what are normalization techniques we will see in upcoming videos right these anomalies can lead to the data integrity issues inconsistencies and difficulties data integrity issues inconsistencies and difficulties in managing and manipulating the data normalization helps to address those anomalies by structuring the data in a way that minimizes the redundancy and ensures data dependencies are properly maintained so in this session we have discussed data anomalies three anomalies insert update and delete if you address these things 95 percent of your job is done i hope you have liked the video if you have understood the session write it in the comment box if you have any queries also write it in the comment box thank you